What's good y'all, this is Bleak. Um, today I'm bringing y'all a video uh, on how to stretch res on any COD. Literally any COD if you don't know who I am. I basically do uh, YY movement in a variety of different Call of Duties. Um, I'll do Black Ops 1. Uh, one of my more uh, famous ones is BO2. Uh, I've done the original MW3. I've done Ghosts. Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, World War II, Vanguard, Call of Duty 2, um, Black Ops Cold War, and the newer MW3, <laughs> Modern Warfare 19, bro. But basically, I'm sure a lot of you are here for the uh, real reason is BO6 and not having black bars, so... Uh, the thing is, is I don't like black bars at all, and I'm gonna show you how to not get them in every single game, so. I am on, uh, NVIDIA, so if you are on AMD, I'm gonna also try to help you out here. Alright, so the first thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is, um, figure out what resolution that you want. I feel that a resolution of either 1440 by 1080 is good, or my personal preference and this one works with literally every single game is 1280 by 1024 so what you guys are going to want to do is left click go to your display settings you want to scroll down i'm on windows 11 but windows 10 this works uh very similar so pick your uh monitor here that you're going to want to do the stretch on if you're doing it on your regular one don't worry about this um pick the right monitor here and right here where it says display resolution, you're going to want to choose your res. So obviously there's 1440 by 1080 here, 1280 by 1024, which is my personal favorite because this one is easy. Some of you guys have an issue with this resolution right here. Well, maybe this one might be good for you then. So go ahead and select your resolution of preference and then set your uh, display orientation to landscape. Go over here to your advanced display and be sure it checks out. So right here you're going to want to change your refresh rate to the highest obviously. And you're good to go for the first part here. So once you got that, go over to your, your NVIDIA control panel. So once you got that open here, the rest part here is super easy, super easy. And I'm going to show you guys how to make your game look good without um have a filter none of that shit because that shit can really uh degrade your fps if you're playing on a lower end pc so first off in order to get your resolution perfect and working good go over here to this change resolution option and if you don't see a res right here it's probably because it hasn't been inputted yet so all you got to do here click customize check this box you're going to create a custom resolution you're going to uh, insert 1280, 1024. Choose your refresh rate, color depth, and be sure this on progressive and automatic. So if it all looks good to you, go ahead and test it out. It'll do a test. Either say it's good, not good. If it's not good, you might want to go back and repeat the first step. You want to go down here and use your NVIDIA color settings. Don't use the default color settings, they look like ass. Put it to the highest and set this to full. Alrighty. Now you want to go over to your um, adjust desktop size and position. Now this would be um, if you're playing a different game to where maybe it's a little bit older. Well, you're going to want to come over here then. Find your monitor. Um, and click on full screen, full screen, and you want to perform scaling on your GPU. Overwrite it, be sure this is correct right here, and if it does uh, pan out, it's going to look something like this. Come over here to your manage 3D settings. Alright, now this is just an example for um, any game, any Call of Duty game. You're going to want to be sure you have this setting right here off. Image scaling. So be sure this is turned off. Whatever game you're playing. Uh, so be it, you might have to go to most of your games and turn this off. If you are getting black bars. And this is something that people don't actually tell you about. 
You also, while you're here, I might as well tell you, be sure your texture filtering quality is always on high performance. You're gonna get the best frames at all times when you do shit like this. This can really help you out if you're experiencing lag, stuttering. Go to your video, uh, video color settings. Select your monitor. This is just my personal preference. I use the NVIDIA settings and I set it to about here. This is re what's really gonna make your game look from uh, very bright and vibrant to kind of dull and washed out. Be sure this is on full in the advanced uh, tab. Go to your desktop uh, color settings. Choose your selected monitor. Now you can test it on these images here and see what it's gonna look like for you. All right, once you got all that set up, they're gonna be pretty much uh, set. The only thing left to do is find your file location for the game that you're wanting to put stretch on. All right, go to your um, PC. Wherever your game is located at, you're gonna wanna find that. I'm gonna go over here. If you're on Steam, you're gonna click on Steam and you're gonna find a game that you're looking to put stretch res on. So I'm just gonna go over and start with Black Ops, Players, Config. So when you get right here, you're gonna to want to find your aspect ratio. I think aspect ratio on these older ones comes first. Instead of this being at auto, we're gonna put it at five, four. If you're using 1280 by 1024. Okay, so it must be right, yep, right here. Set a R mode. So some reason it's on 1024 by 786. I'm gonna put this to 1280 uh, X 1024. And once you have this, the aspect ratio and the full screen resolution is all you need to change so don't change anything else don't do too much changing because if you're doing a lot of shit like you want to go in and put one of these to zero or and you don't know what you're doing you're going to ruin your game because that's exactly what happened to my fucking uh old mw3 and it's cooked bro generated by call of duty do not modify right so those are the only things you're going to want to modify because they set this shit up and we don't know what the fuck the coding is, right? Boom. We're good to go. Go ahead and save. Save all. Save again. Save all. Just to be sure, right? Exit out of that. Left click and go to properties. And be sure this read only is unchecked, so... Just to make sure our shit's gonna save, what I usually do is click it, unclick it, click apply, and okay. So now I'm gonna show you that it's going to be working in game. So this is another thing to get your uh, stretch to work on older games that don't allow you to um, switch displays. Let's say you have one monitor for gaming, one for other stuff, right? Well, you're gonna uh, go over to display, system display, and just make this your main monitor for the time being. All right, let me launch the game here. Got my controller all figured out now. And boom, there we go. So now we're on Black Ops 1. Um, I forgot to change my language here, but if you set it up correctly in your NVIDIA on your display settings and then in the config, you won't have to necessarily go here and change anything because you've already changed it in the game files. Show you guys what it looks like in game. So there we go, as simple as that. We're in Black Ops 1 with stretched resolution. And that's basically all you guys have to do really. All right, so that's basically it for the um, old CODs. So now let's get into the um, newer ones. All right, so whatever you're playing on, Battle.net, Steam, go ahead and just open up your game here. Go over to your display settings, find your display resolution here, and your aspect ratio. Go ahead and set this to 16 by 9. And go ahead and apply 
and it's gonna give you black bars at first but we are about to change that so exit out the game all right so for the newer games uh such as mw3 what you're going to want to do here is go over to your um file explorer after you've set your resolution and game go ahead and go to your documents go to mw3 click on players this one here so options for cod cst scroll all the way down all the way down until you get to display so display mode full screen scroll a little bit down some more and it'll say full screen resolution so this is where you're going to want to set your resolution to what you put it in game this might be something different for you but whatever resolution you're going to set set it to that and come down here to the aspect ratio um, for this one it is 54 let's say you're doing uh, 1440 by 1080 so instead of putting 54 here you'd put standard standard is going to work for 1280 by 10 or sorry 1440 by 1080 do a quick check make sure everything looks good file save file save all file save close it out left click go to properties check check apply and okay fairly simple for uh that one for bo6 uh you're gonna want to do these same steps that i showed you for the first part of mw3 so go into the game set up your resolution and put it to 16 9 for your aspect ratio it's going to give you black bars right there so now i'm going to show you how to get rid of them go to your documents find your call of duty folder players uh, these bottom two are going to be the ones that you're going to use so double click on it the first one scroll all the way down and you're going to find your full screen resolution right here Go ahead and set that to your desired resolution. Obviously mine is the same as MW3. Aspect ratio. So it'll be right there under display. And this is gonna be your deciding factor on whether you have black bars or do not. So right here, if you changed it in game, it should say wide 16 by nine. Go ahead and change it to either 5.4 or standard for 1440 by 1080. And once you got that, do the same steps here. File, save, save all, save, save all. I just like to save it a million times because sometimes if you don't, it won't detect it. Go to the next one and do the exact same thing. So you want to be sure these two match up. And once they do, left click properties. Apply properties. So the read-only should never ever be checked. For Vanguard, I probably should show you, is a little bit more tricky. Documents here, Vanguard, Players, and instead of doing uh, the config file, all you're going to do is open up the options. So the options, you're going to basically do the same thing, it looks fairly similar. Put your resolution here, aspect ratio here, save it, left click, properties, and this one you are going to want to select read only. So select read only, cancel for me, but you're going to apply. Uh, something weird with this game is if it's not like that, it'll constantly change it back. So simple as that before you boot up your game on vanguard be sure that you select display and click on the display that you're going to be using and main it x out and boot up your vanguard all right it's going to window it at first and then it's just going to auto push it to full screen there you go 
you're on Vanguard right now. You have zero black bars. What a beautiful sight that is. Playing this game, especially with black bars, is a pain. And boom, we're in Vanguard, stretched. Not having black bars in a game like this, especially stretch res. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. Alright y'all, that's basically it for AMD users. I'm sure the process is fairly similar. I think the main points uh, that you can grab from this is be sure that you scale um, these older games to full screen and be sure that the config files are set correctly as well as setting up your display resolution in game and on the actual uh, monitor itself. So, I hope this helps some of you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, uh, maybe some useful stuff that could help out some AMD users if you are still currently struggling. And any support is very much appreciated. Thank you all for all the support on my recent videos, um, on my TikTok as well. I recently just hit 2500. Uh, which is a big goal for me because, I mean, that's the farthest I've ever got with any YouTube, um, TikTok, I mean, you name it. So, I'm very much appreciative of that, and thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you didn't, uh, gain something at least from this. Maybe the small bits and pieces helped you fix your resolution and make your game, uh, more playable and better experience, so... I uh, will see you guys on my next video. Uh, my next video will be a Cold War um, settings. Yeah, so be sure you guys stop in for that next video. Alright, peace out.